All right, guys, so we got a little entryway patio we got to repair. It's got some salt damage to it. They spread a lot of salt here in the winter, so the concrete's all spalling. So we're going to grind this off and put a coating on that will protect it from spalling. It's going to be a polyaspartic flake coating, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so whenever you repair and resurface any type of concrete, especially a concrete patio like this that gets a lot of salt thrown on it you got to remove you got to remove the the damaged concrete at the surface and some of it might be more damaged than what just meets the eye so the best way we found how to do this is just lightly grind the surface and that's going to remove any of the soft uh, spalling concrete some of that concrete that doesn't even look damaged it really is it's really soft and you don't want to repair over that. You don't want to put any type of repair material over that or it's just going to end up coming off at some point. So what we do when we repair and resurface concrete is, you know, we'll lightly grind it just like this. And anything that's intact, you know, that, that's bonded or any of the part of that surface that's in good shape, we'll be able to know within seconds of going over it. And anything that isn't is just gonna it's gonna just disintegrate under that grinder so we just have a little five inch grinder a Bosch grinder hooked to a, a vacuum and we'll we'll lightly grind over the surface of that concrete and then we'll just clean it up and then we'll be ready to do our repairs so that's the basic way that we start when we repair and resurface any type of concrete so this is our two pot polyurea repair material now we buy this in a kit from radon seal and we also buy it in bulk because we do so much of it and we buy it in 10 gallon kit so that's what we're using today is a 10 gallon kit but we also sometimes use it right out of a cartridge a diy what we call the a do-it-yourself type of repair kit cartridge and we use that cartridge all the time to repair cracks in floors and spalling and garages and this is the kit right here it comes either in a single cartridge or a dual cartridge like that and that's the best thing we found for repairing the damaged concrete I'll have a link for that down in the description if you guys want to check that out but that's the best way we found to repair spalling and crack concrete so what we do is when we mix it in bulk is, is we just dump it on the concrete and then we kind of squeegee it over the damaged areas just to make sure you know we don't have an excess of the re repair material on there and it's pretty level with the with the good part of the concrete so we'll just squeegee it over it and then we'll just let it dry and this stuff dries in you know in about 15 or 20 minutes this stuff will be dry and then we can lightly just grind over it and remove any of the excess part of it and whatever's down in the spalling and crack areas will stay and they'll just be smooth and level with the with the good part of the concrete then we can move on to resurfacing the concrete so you can see Luke's just kind of lightly going over it just removing whatever excess repair material he needs to and that is really he's really just barely putting any pressure down on that to remove that excess stuff and it fills in any of the little pits and scaling and spalling and any tiny little cracks it fills all that stuff in and makes it right flush with the surface that way when we put the resurfacing material over it you won't even be able to tell it was ever damaged so once we get it all ground off you can see the areas that it filled in pretty good right there you know we'll get rid of any of the dust we'll blow it off we'll vacuum it whatever we need to do to get it clean and what Luke is doing in behind Darren Darren's got the DeWalt blower Luke is kind of just cleaning out those joints just to make sure the joints look really good because those had some spalling in them too so we just filled them in with that repair material and now we're just lightly grinding them back out to make sure they all look nice and even. So once we get it to that point nice and clean, now we're going to mix up our repair and resurfacing material. And what we're using today is we're using a two-part polyaspartic coating. Polyaspartics you can use outside. They're 
you know, they're kind of like an epoxy. This is a two to one ratio polyaspartic coating. But epoxies, we don't generally use outside. Those are typically an inside type of coating. But polyaspartics like this, you can use outside. And the reason we decided to go with this material is because once we get done, once we put this polyaspartic base coat down, broadcast our, our decorative flake into it, and then put the top coat over it, it's basically going to waterproof the concrete. So whenever they, whenever they broadcast any type of salt de-icing material on it in the winter, the water, the melted water from that won't get down into the concrete. It's just going to run off into the parking lot now. So we're just putting the base coat down now and you know we got about 15 to 20 minutes to work with this stuff when you mix it up. So we'll get it all rolled on, make sure everything's got really good coverage on it and then we'll broadcast the flake into it. Now if you guys want to really know how to learn this stuff, more extensive training on any type of concrete stuff, uh, I specialize in all types of flat work, floors, slabs, stamp concrete. Uh, overlays, resurfacing like this, epoxy coatings, then you're going to want to check out my private membership, The Concrete Underground. I'll have a link for that in the description of the video below. In there, I have all kinds of extensive trainings about how to do this kind of stuff, how to do it yourself, how to do it as a business like I do it. So if you're interested in that, then check out that link below. So here I am. I'm just, I'm just broadcasting the decorative flake into it. And once I do this, I'm going to broad, I'm broadcasting what I call to rejection. So I'm going to completely cover the tan base coat with this and make sure I can't see any of the tan coating. And then this stuff's going to dry in, in here and then we'll, we'll kind of sand it off smooth and get rid of any of the excess flakes before we top coat it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to check that out so you can see what the, the finished product looks like. And it doesn't take long. This, this uh, resurfacing type of material dries in about an hour. And then we can, we can uh, keep going with the finishing process. So here we are. So we got this all scraped and sanded. And then we vacuumed off any of the excess flake that I threw on. And now what we're doing is we're putting a clear polyaspartic top coat over it. And this is going to protect it. But it will also waterproof it and keep any type of water or moisture from sinking down into the concrete and what I'm going to do right at the very end so it's not slippery is I'm going to broadcast like a non-slip aggregate onto the surface so you know check that out right at the very end you'll see what we do to keep this from being slippery now this in itself it does have a little bit of texture to it when we're done so I mean we'll do this type of coating in a garage all the time you know we do tons of these coatings in garages so this is a really good garage floor coating also but we're gonna go around we're gonna we're gonna get this coating put on nice and even so everything looks looks really good and then we're gonna broadcast the non-slip aggregate right into the surface and that's gonna kind of just disappear into the surface but it's also gonna leave a, a non-skid kind of texture to it this is a business here, so it gets used, this entryway gets used a lot. So that's why they got to keep it clear in the winter and, and make sure it's not slippery. Now I'm wearing special shoes so I can walk right in this. I'm wearing spikes so I can go right back into the coating when it's wet and, and walk right into it and make sure it's all finished off really nice. So again, I'll have a link for the repair material down below in the description, guys. I'll have a a link for this type of coating down below in the description and then also for the for the private membership for the training if you guys want to learn more about this stuff in about all kinds of other concrete that link will be down in the description so you guys can all check that out but this is a the basic way we repair and resurface concrete patios we could do pool decks like this entryways um, you could do any type of exterior concrete you could use so here's, here's my concrete underground. Again, guys, down below, how to grow a business, how to stamp, how to pour and finish concrete. That's all down there for you. And thanks again for watching. I'll have a, I'll have a video pop up here to some more repair material if you want to check that out. And then also another way to paint concrete if you want to check that out. You can, you can click on that also. We'll see you on the next one.